I got stronger when I let go of my own control. I don't like it was yesterday. Grab some diced pineapples, vodka in there. And I remember, I remember it clear as day, intoxicated, high, and I hated God that day. I truly hated him. Cause I felt like he wasn't doing his part. Now a lot of people won't be real and say, you know, yeah, it was a point in time where I hated God. I just remember calling myself going off on him, cussing everything, saying things like, what a person who is emotional, broken, and who's been taken away from everything that he's known. Everything that he loved, whole life flipped and turned upside down. Every day trying to find steady ground. And I felt like I was losing in so many different ways. Ultimately, hindsight, I was gaining. And I remember telling God that if you want me to serve you, you're going to have to show me something. If you don't show me something, this will be the last day I ever decide to turn to you. I remember going to the, to the store. When I came here, I didn't have much money. $10 in my hand. I remember literally adding things up on my phone. And I'm like, man, I hope taxes don't come up on this because I might have to put something back. And I remember standing in line, ready to go. This lady, she had like, she already had like two carts. You know how the uh, cashier say, is this yours too? And she looked at me and she said, I'm gonna pay for his too. So I remember her paying for everything. And for a lot of people, that may not mean nothing, but for me, you gotta think about it. I had just so-called gave God an ultimatum. About to be down to my very last. And for me, it doesn't take that much to convince me as far as to follow. That's why I was probably into a lot of stuff that I was into. And I'm loyal to whatever I'm into. And I just remember this lady paying for everything. And she looked at me and she said, I said, thank you. She said, when God do for you, you do for others. And she walked off. I went back to the house and I immediately began to break down. And I remember what the Holy Ghost saying to me, okay, now we can talk. In that moment of frustration and anger and rage, it's like I gave God everything, whether it was good, bad, or ugly. I came to him in the most ugliest form. I just remember as I was saying this thing, hindsight looking back now, I just remember me getting lighter and releasing because these are things I held on the inside, but I never let out. Stuff about my dad, stuff about my grandma, like people who passed in my life, I just let it out. And I remember bearing all. This is when I realized that God doesn't want you perfect. He wants you broken. And he wants you to bring all of your hurt, all of your pain, all of your confusion, everything to him. And he says, give me control. Once you let go, I guarantee you become much, much stronger. Chew on that.